Uh, my name is Trent Weitzel and I'm the owner of Double Dubs uh, food truck in Laramie, Wyoming. Uh, we started cooking wings in my like backyard basically with a turkey fryer and then actually it was a fry daddy, you know, a little tiny fry daddy in your house and everything and then it progressed into uh, uh, t turkey fryers in the backyard and then we did backyard barbecues, parties, Super Bowl parties and then it just evolved into a food truck and everything. So. Shifting tickets <laughs> all day, every day. I've been cooking wings for about 14 years. Um, about six years ago, I started uh, the food truck and everything. I built it from the ground up. Another order of 12, half habanero mustard, half cream and chicken. Perfect. Anything else tonight, y'all? That'll be it. Awesome. Oh, yeah, have a good one. She's going to Wheatland with her wings. So all I do is just chicken wings. So like uh, my specialty is basically the sauces that I create and everything. So uh, we cook really, really extra crispy chicken wings. Um, and then, you know, I put my homemade sauces on. We've been waiting all day for wings. I've been here one other time, but as soon as I day. knew that they were here again, I went and got some more. I always get barbecue, always. I do the hottest possible. I usually do screaming chicken or the habanero mustard. Yeah, are you pretty hot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen you cry a few times, I yeah, feel. <laughs> definitely sweating while I eat it. Yeah. So like I said, I built the food truck to where we could, um, you know, work really, really efficiently. efficiently. Thank you, Sydney, in the food truck and everything. We need veggies in this one. Um, so yeah, it just, I kind of designed it to where it would work that way, so. That's all we do all the time, running into each other. Yeah, the funny time. thing. Yes, yes, we're constantly, constantly bumping into each other. But it's just, you get closer to each other, you get used to it. I change it up, I get the spicy veg, I get the uh, screaming. Uh, he had a four horseman once for a little limited time that was really good. And the blue cheese is like no other blue cheese. You'll never eat blue cheese again like this. I tell people I'm retired, you know, I really don't. I really don't work. This is a lot of fun to me. You know, all the sauces that I've created and made are, you know, 100% one-offs. You know, the original recipes and everything. So it, it, it is like I'm retired, you know, so. Crispy and yet meaty and juicy and um, all the different flavors. Uh, the barbecue and the hot barbecue are our favorite. I get the normal barbecue and they're just really good. <laughs> they're really, they're seasoned really well, and the sauces are, there's a well, it's well balanced between uh, tangy and like barbecue -y but sweet. Hey, congratulations, man. Yeah, so uh, I've been calling this guy Drew from for about four years now to try to get into the Wing Festival and everything. Um, it's out in Buffalo, New York. Um, the festival is about 60 vendors, 50 to 60 vendors, the, the top line chicken wing places in the country basically. I, d I, d I did have help into it, so he really wanted a brick and mortar and then at the end of the day he didn't have anybody to vouch for me for how good the chicken wings were. You know, so I kind of, Josh Allen, you know, he had my wings um, when he played football here at UW. Um, he uh, loved them and everything and as soon as he was a quarterback for Buffalo Bills, I kind of name dropped him. I hate name dropping just because I don't want to, you know, I want to be successful on my own part. But at the end of the day, it's all who you know, really, and everything. Um, so, so I name dropped Josh Allen. He vouched for my wings. He called Drew and then Drew called me back like five minutes later. He's like, you're in. This will be an awesome story, awesome piece. And it will just grow the festival really, really big. So we basically made eight five gallon bucks of my best sauces, took them out to Buffalo and then entered them in the competition. And we ended up, you know, being very successful, so. And congratulations, it's so awesome you guys here. You know, having people say that and then give me the reviews, you know, it just kind of boosts my confidence a lot. I knew my wings were good because I've eaten wings all over the country. So I just kind of got to prove myself.